Welcome to another episode of the Mostly Mike Show. Today we'll do a quick unboxing, installation, and review of the Office RGB floodlights. These floodlights came as a pair, not that kind of pair. Full disclosure, these floodlights were sent to me by Office in exchange for making this review video. Hope you enjoy this presentation and get a few laughs. Please don't forget to mash that thumbs up or down button if you did or didn't enjoy. I'll be sure to include my Amazon store link in the description which helps me improve future content by way of small commissions that I earn if you buy anything after clicking the link. So included in the box are the floodlights themselves, complete with mounting brackets, along with a 44 key remote, batteries included. And look, there's also one extra remote battery. The Olympus light comes with a standard two-pronged plug so they can be operated from an extension cord or a receptacle to mitigate the need to be wired in by an electrical professional. In case you're wondering what RGB is, no, it's not some radical special interest group on a voting platform. It just means red, green, blue, in no special order. These are the three primary colors, which these colors blended in different levels together can create hundreds of different colors. I'll also add that all three of these colors matter in their own different little ways. I plan to install these lights to the south end of the Mostly Mike Show Research and Development Center to shine over my campfire and beverage sampling area in an attempt to create a special atmosphere to enhance these cool refreshing beverages. I was a little indecisive of where exactly to install these lights, trying to anticipate every hypothetical scenario. I finally opted to install them a few feet apart just down from the peak of the roof. Now I'm not going to get too crazy on the installation of these floodlights. I basically located a solid place to mount the lights. Then use some stainless steel screws after pre-drilling some holes to attach the lights. Of course the lights attach much neater on the low points of the vinyl siding so as to not smash down your siding. For demonstration purposes, I temporarily plugged these lights into an extension cord, and the lights seem pretty alright in the initial testing stages. For neatness purposes, and to show full commitment for the installation, I ran some wiring to the inside of the roof peak. I can't stress to you enough that this is not a wiring tutorial. I'm just showing what I did, and not how to do it. Understood? Okay. So. I measured the cable diameter with my trusty dial calipers, then found a straight shank twist drill of approximate diameter, slightly larger, and chucked it into my trusty drill motor, then drilled through the wall. I inserted the wires through these holes to achieve a clean and neat installation. I ran these wires through some strain reliefs, stripped them back, and bugged them into their corresponding wire nuts. Then wrote the breaker number on the box cover for future maintenance convenience purposes. And now, we wait for darkness. One curiosity that I had on these lights is if they retain the state that they are in if the power happens to go off. And the answer is yes. In other words, if they are red and you shut off the breaker and then turn it back on, they will come back on as red, or whatever state they were in prior to shutting them off. Unless it's the state of California, then you never know what it'll be. Please try not to read into that joke too much. So here's just some random colors that you can achieve by clicking this and that on the remote. They can be dimmed, put on a timer, and there's a few cool party effects where the lights transition to different colors on their own. You can even make your neighbors think that there's a police car or an ambulance in your yard. The Olympus lights definitely add to the ambiance that I was going for in my relaxation and beverage sampling area. I guess that there's a burning question that you all might be thinking, but might be too shy to ask. Does it make a cool refreshing beverage taste better? And that answer would be a resounding hell yeah. Call it my imagination or what have you, but the Olympus RGB floodlights do in fact make most cool refreshing beverages taste better, with the exception of Bud Light, just lately for some odd reason. Not sure if anything can make that taste better. Any ideas? Let me know in the comments. 
in conclusion, I would highly recommend the Olefus RGB lights to anyone wanting to add that special pizzazz to their research and development center. They are relatively inexpensive for what they are, and they don't use a crazy amount of power at just 50 watts. Go to my Amazon store link and get yours today. I would like to thank my friends at Olefus for sending me these lights to make this review video happen. Please put any questions or comments below, mash that thumbs up, and consider subscribing if you're new here. Thanks for watching this Most Limux Show presentation, and I'll see you next time.